Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are um, recovering from the flash sale yesterday, our, our warehouse sale. Um, my things are being wild today. I don't know what's happening. I must have slept really hard. <laughs> um, so how did the flash sale go for everybody? I'd love to hear. Um, it went okay for me. It was, I think, maybe just not quite the flash sale my customers were wanting, but I know a lot of people had success and it wasn't for my lack of trying. Remember we talked about dis discipline versus regret and I don't have any regrets with how I advertised for the sale yesterday. I might change a couple things next time, but overall I sent my text messages. I sent my emails. I sent reminders. I posted, I shared, and I made sure that people knew about the sale. So I am pleased that I, uh, I've i hit, I'm close to my personal goal for the month, just in general. So yesterday's sale definitely helped me for that. So I hope that you had um, success with your customers and your sale. Um, today, we are going to be talking about value posts and writing value posts. So yesterday we had sale, 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 right? We had so much talking about the products and that's okay, right? We don't do that every single day but it's okay to ensure that people know about a good deal, a good sale when, um, when there is one, but this is where we're going to, we're going to sprinkle in those value posts again. So let me share my screen. And I want to talk about this one because there's a lot of different ways you can go with this. So the value post today is, um, again, the goal is to create that relationship connection engagement, the no like, and trust factors. The hook is three hot tips you can use to, um, get a desired outcome. So the desired outcome can be anything. What has helped you? Is it uh, stacking habits? Is it ways to get organized? Is it how to get better sleep? Is it how to feel more energized? And some of those can go hand in hand. So once you have these um, three tips ready, and if you have a niche, if you know what that is, a niche is something where you are you have a specific audience that you talk to that you want to relate to. And we talk about those five pillars to like the five, the five avatars or people that you want to speak to. Um, if you can even tighten it and pick one or two of those that you're going to talk to for this, this hot tip, um, try and keep it there. And then when you share those three tips, then you circle back to the reader. Maybe you are desiring whatever outcome it is. Uh, my best piece of advice for you for stacking habits is x y and z so those can that can be a way to um like hey here's how you stick with it here's three tips to get there and here's my piece of advice for sticking with it or whatever so the call to action is share in the comments with me what your thoughts are let me know if you're going to try it right or tag me in a post when you try it um if it's something that's shareable on the interwebs you know what i mean so I might try, I might say something about sourdough. I might say something about stacking habits and being disciplined. I'm not sure where I want to take this one yet, um, but I know that I want to provide value to my audience. Oh my gosh. I hope I get a nap today. Um. <laughs> oh, so go ahead and screenshot that. I'm going to go ahead and finish my leads. I've already done a few of them today. get some music going so we're not quiet
how do you guys set yourself up for success during the weekend? Because, you know, this 90 day challenge isn't just Monday through Friday. The intent is to build those habits and it's just for 90 days, right? How is, how do you set yourself up for success to ensure that you can get at least the five by seven checklist done? We may not have business action items on, um, the weekend, like the, the top three things to get done, but how do you ensure you have time to get the five by seven checklist done at least, you know, for me, I think it's easy to have when I'm having my morning cup of whatever, um, to be able to just sit and scroll and get those five to 10 leads done, because that's what I've made the habit of since starting this is getting that done first while I'm sipping my morning beverage. Um, and then posting in my Instagram stories, going live, you know, making a reel, whatever the case may be. Um, following up can be as simple as sending one customer a follow-up message. Hey, how did you like your order? Hey, did it arrive okay? Um, making an offer. Remembering that somebody wanted to add on a bar of X, Y, or Z, or um, maybe asking, making the big ask of, hey, can I have you, um, can I set up a shopping link for you for, to share with your friends? And then making a post. Those are simple enough things to do. How are you ensuring that you do them? And it doesn't get to the end of the day and you're like, oh crap, I haven't done all these things. How are you making time? Because the five by seven checklist should not take more than 20 to 30 minutes max. So maybe on Fridays, maybe today, you make your plan of, okay, here's who I'm going to follow up with on Saturday and Sunday. Here are the posts I'm gonna make planning ahead so that you know what to do immediately and you're not wasting time thinking about, oh, what should I say with this post? What should my copy be? Um, what kind of post do I want to write? How detailed should I be? All those things. you know from the for the like weekend thought process or whatever it might be a good one to have like the sensi club saturday or What's the one they always do for Sunday? Maybe it's Sensei Club Sunday and sales sales tip Saturday or something. Yeah, I know a lot of people do like um, sales and deals. I can already... Whatever that, well, yeah. But uh, if you have that kind of already in the mindset, it kind of keeps that stress off, I guess. Because you already know, okay, that's what I'm going to post about Saturday. That's what I'm going to post about Sunday. Excellent um, observation. Excellent point. And I just saw one, one of those breakdowns literally just a couple of days ago, and I think I even saved it. But where? But where indeed? 
there. <laughs> Sometimes rabbit holes are good though, you know, when we're talking about leads on Instagram because of the people who it's suggesting, or if you see comments and you're like, man, they're funny. I could be their friend. Just happened. Relatable. Cause I was, I was engaging with one account. I saw a comment. I'm like, that's, that's good. Uh, so I followed that rabbit hole and another follow. Um, my lash gal just shared that she got new colors in because, you know, I do the the pink in my lashes. Um, she just shared that she got some other colors like blue and a couple of different shades of purple. So you better believe I'm excited about that. Purple for reunion sounds fun. Right. I don't know if I do an entirely purple set, but sprinkle them in like I do the pink. For sure. all right i have followed my minimum of five today excuse me oh my goodness bless you thank you the last couple of days of allergies have just been bananas same actually Oh, this is fun. Thanks for sharing those, Risa. I'm going to do a screen share. It's going to let me share these dang photos. I don't know if it's letting me save them. It let me save at least one of them. Oh, yeah. I saved them. I saved one thrice because it didn't say saved. I saved them for um, future carousels. I like it. Um, so what do you think you're going to give tips on? Sometimes it's hard thinking about, okay, what value can I provide? What value do I have to offer? Um, so like if you're a couponing mom or a couponing person in general, you can share your, your hot tips for how to do the, do and find and use the best coupons. Um, time-saving hacks. If you like to clean, um, maybe cleaning hacks for how to keep your house clean and tidy. Um, you know, in X amount of minutes a day. Um, 
I don't know how to find how to find discounted books, how to find cheap books. I feel like that's something Courtney would do. <laughs> she told me something funny <laughs> that she'll add a, like inexpensive books to her at the Amazon cart, and then when her husband goes to buy something, um, he won't check what else is in the cart, and so it'll just show up. Like, oh, thank you for writing me a book. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, my son does that actually he adds things to the cart hoping that I'll just buy them for him but you're smart <laughs> you're observant yeah okay so let's share this nine uh no nine there's not nine days in the week these social media themes to build consistency Monday through Sunday <laughs> there are seven days in a week fun fact oh my gosh okay so and obviously <laughs> just take one and run with it or if you want to alternate weeks um on Tuesday obviously we all the time say tip Tuesday but tool Tuesday is a good one to kind of throw in there like here's a tool for your toolbox okay Monday fun day Monday mantra meme Monday love me a good meme um Monday mantra that could be a great one if you struggle to be disciplined and stack habits okay here's my Monday mantra. Here's how I am. Here's how I am going to move forward with discipline and consistency and share how you um, are intentional with that. Trend Tuesday. Oh, that's a fun one. What's trending? Trend Tuesday, Tool Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday treats. You know, we had a, a leader in our organization, um, in our group. She would, uh, so I'm thinking for Tuesday treats, she would take the sense some of the scent names of our bars and actually make them into recipes. So whether it was like a smoothie or a cookie or whatever, she would actually turn them into a recipe. So if you're feeling adventurous, do that. Wednesday, uh, we've got wellness Wednesday, Wednesday, win Wednesday words. So wellness Wednesday, if you work out like I do, that could be a good one um, to start incorporating wellness Wednesday. How are you moving today? How are you working out? Uh, how are you taking care of yourself? Wednesday win. Um, this could also incorporate Sensi club. If you want to start talking about it more, my Wednesday win is, um, you know, 10% off my order, whatever, something like that. That's a good idea. Yeah. Like, check this deal that I got only in Sensi club, different ways to highlight the different perks um thumbs up thursday throwback things like throwback thursday thankful thursday throwback is really fun um if you want to incorporate business you could say throwback thursday check out this vintage warmer and you could find a picture of one of the original warmers that are not great um and that a different company actually made since he didn't even design them they they bought them repackaged them and sold them so you could find some of those weird ones you could even do Sensi Club on Throwback Thursday too, or Thumbs Up Thursday. You could still incorporate Sensi yeah. Club with that one too. And I know we keep talking about Sensi Club a lot. Get ready for Monday's post, but it's intentional. Right? It's on purpose because right. it is one of the best ways to get that passive income, that passive PRV. And if you build it up enough, if there's, if something happens in your life and you need to step away from your business for a minute and you have that, those club subscriptions built up, you won't have to worry about, um, earning your paycheck. You know what I mean? Okay. Feel good Friday. That's fun. Uh, Friday fails. <laughs> also very fun. So if you have any bloopers, things that you did, uh, things that are weird, things that whatever Friday fail, like maybe you baked a pie and it turned out awful friday fail um friday fashion if you um i know katie does a lot of outfits of the day she's very fashionable so that could be something fun for her um saturday swag saturday shout out saturday spotlight that's what it was i think saturday spotlight so spotlighting a product or something that you're using in your house or if you want to keep it business related right then you're going to spotlight a product so maybe you're going to spotlight the Sensi Go while you're in the car going to, to soccer games, or maybe you're doing a quick road trip out of town and you're going to spotlight, um, again, the Sensi Go or a mini fan diffuser or any of our products that are great for the car or whatever the case may be. Um, and then Sunday, Sensi Club Sunday, like we talked about, self-care Sunday, 
Sunday service, how you serve people, um, startup Sunday, or maybe you go to church and it's literally, you're going to Sunday service, (laughs) maybe something you learned a scripture that was shared, whatever. That's a really, a really great list. I think I, I, I have intentions of like sitting down and doing something like this. And then by the time it comes up, I forget about it. So I'm never intentional with setting a, a themed day. And this could just be in your stories too. It doesn't necessarily have to be as your posts, but maybe people know, okay, on Sundays, I'm going to check Ariel's um, thing because she's going to talk about Sensi Club or I'm going to check her Friday for Friday fails. <laughs> I should start doing that. <laughs> because who I am as a person, I just got a lot of bloopers, you know? My life is a blooper reel. That'd be really cute to incorporate your husband with that one. Yes, because he's wonderful and usually catches my bloopers. <laughs> like yesterday. I think the more you can incorporate your family to like it just becomes more more people want to watch it or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So where can you put that picture that you'll see it every day? Um, I would like to print it, but that's too much color for my printer. I don't want to have to waste that much color, but um, because I feel like if I had it printed, I might just, I can make it black and white. Can you make it pop up on your phone though every day? Like um, a task or something that pops up, a recurring task every day? I honestly ignore those. (sighs) So I could, um, but that would be a waste of my time to set all that up. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my white, my uh, dry erase board over here. I actually need to redo that. I need to clean it. So maybe I'll save that for Tuesday. Do a tool Tuesday and, or a tip Tuesday and spotlight our counter cleaner as I'm cleaning that, as I'm erasing it, you know? I have club room today. I must pick club room. Let's see if I send it to you in Messenger, then it's in Messenger for me too. Say again. And if I send it to you in Messenger, then it's in Messenger for me too. Because I sent it for my iPad, so uh, it wasn't on my computer. Makes sense. You know, the only thing I don't have is like a way to stick it to the. I guess I get. You know, I've got washi tape. I'll stick it to the washi tape. There you go. I hope you guys are digging these Power 30 um, chats because the intent is to 
help provide time for you to be intentional with your business, however it works for you, and to give you ideas for, you know, those, the post ideas, right? How to be a larger presence on the socials and to grow organically. So I hope you guys are finding value. All right, it's hung up. And I think maybe next week we'll share the the other things that you just sent. That's a lot for one day, you know. Yeah, it would have gotten lost by next week in my pictures. I'll just leave it open on my desktop. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot to get done this morning. Not a lot, but I've got my, it's the mail that I still have to get done because there's a couple things I need to still get out. And then my customer email, the kids have an early release today. And so our, I'm working out it earlier today. So I've just got a lot of things to shift around, but Ooh, I was invited to play softball tonight with some friends. Um, so I get to <laughs> dust off my bat and my mitt and I'm really excited. I haven't played in probably a decade. Nope, it's probably been longer than that. <laughs> it's probably been like 15 years since I've played softball as an organized sport in an organized team. So shall we expect um, hospital picks from on social media tonight? No way. No way. <laughs> Oh, my directors pulled some good director numbers. Yay. Awesome. Hey, guys, don't forget, if you're wondering who to follow up with, you don't necessarily have a follow-up system in place. You can utilize your workstation, and you can go to their reporting tab and do sales reports and pull up reports for people who have ordered in the last however many months or years that you want. And you can go back through there, right? And if you know we've got specific things that are happening right now, like we've got bricks. If they've purchased bricks in the past, you can go by that. If they if they used to love sea salt and avocado, tell them they can get a brick in their club subscription. I'm a ding dong. I didn't realize some sea salt and avocado was added to club. So I have a customer to follow up with. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So anyway, hope you guys. It's out with the club. What? Since you that, in the uh, brain, you can get it. Yep. Yep. Because it's discontinued in the bar. Um, sorry, my thought process didn't entirely finish there, but it was finished in my head. So, um, but I hope you guys make a plan for the weekend. I hope you find success with your plan. And even if you don't find success, if you move forward with your plan and fail, you now have data to move forward differently next time. But have a great weekend, guys. And Stop share and we will talk to you guys later. Bye friends.